in the last chat um in the last lecture we have talked about uh multi yeah here i think yeah maybe we can also read it yeah um have talked about multiple column selector. In the last lecture, we have tried this example um, with multiple column selector. And then we'll see um, the third part of score selector picker with time picker. Um, yeah, here is similar. We can set the mode as time and we have, we can set our bind ch change with time change. We can, yeah, we can, we can define a function uh, by ourselves, customize it. Uh, here, yeah, as we say, one mode is set to time. It is our multi column selector, a selector effect. And the related attributes are shown here in this table. Here we have six attributes. Mm, value to indicate the selected time, the format, um, start attribute, oh, yeah. To indicate the beginning of the valid time range and to indicate the end of the valid uh, time range. Find change, um, it means the change event is triggered when the value changes. Find cancel, um, it is triggered when deselected. We have another attribute disabled uh, to see whether to disable or not. Yeah, you see among these six attributes, we have three with the type stream, two with the type event handle, and one with the type boolean. Um, yeah, See here, um, we have a small example. If we want to customize a simple time selector, we can use this code, and we have the bound change here in this code and this bound change it is the function that will be triggered when the option is changed and here uh, time it is a variable used to display the content of the option the function and variable names are all customized here that means we can change here the variable and we can change here the function name yeah, maybe we can do it um, quickly. Oh, yeah, you see here, um, we are, component two is already so long. Maybe I or change, I, I may change this part. Yeah, we can directly add said here. Mm. I was deleted. Mode is time. And we can give a time change, a time change. Then, mm, here the same thing, current choice. And then we can set the variable. We can set it as time, um, a picker. Then in the JS file, here instead of selector change, as we say before, we have the time change here. And the same thing, 
we define here um a give a value we use it as a oh sorry yeah we need to get the detail of the um of the event and then we set the time. Yeah. Okay. You see. Then we can try it directly. Here are current choice, and we can select it directly. You see, it's not difficult. It's um, it's quite easy to realize it. Here is for this time selector, time picker. Yeah, yeah. When we choose it, it's okay. Um, the current choice, yeah, and we have used it um twenty four hours. Nor nor normally, yeah. I have set it. Yeah, by default, it's twenty four hours. Okay, here is for this time picker, and then we have another kind of picker yeah here we have the code um the running if picker effect and then here we have the date picker for the date picker um similarly we set mode as date and then uh, we have the date picker effect and the related attributes are shown here. We have one, two, three, four, five, seven, seven attributes. Uh, we have value, start, end, fields, add string, band change, band cancel, event handle, and disabled Boolean. Um, value is to indicate the select selected date. We have the format like this. Start, it indicates the beginning of the valid value uh, date range oh uh, yeah the format is uh, similar we have the end to indicate the end of the valid date change and uh, date range with the format field uh, it's valid values year month day to indicate the granularity of the selector we have the two um, attributes Bound change. It means the change event is triggered when the value changes. And bound cancel, it is triggered when deselected. And we have the attribute disabled. It means whether to disable or not. Um, here we have a, an example to customize a simple date picker. We have the waiting ML snippet code. You see, similarly, mode date, bound change, date change, current choice, date. And yeah, here, this one, this code is a function that will be triggered when an option is changed. And date is a variable used to display the content of the option. The function and the variable names are all custom. custom. Here we have the um, corresponding JS code snippet. Yeah, it's very, very easy to see. We can directly, yeah, here change timing to date. Yeah, and here we can say time change. It's, uh, yeah, we can even not change it here time. We can leave it and then in JS file, we have ten time change, get the uh, value. Oh, we get it directly, and it will be shown normally. Just we have changed the mode, and normally everything will go okay. Yeah, you see here. Yeah, have you seen it? We can choose. The, we can choose the date directly. Okay, and the current choice, 
it's shown here. So you see it's, um, yeah, it's easy to realize these time picker, date picker, et cetera. And then we can see the next part. Yeah, you see here we have the effect. Oh, with the time to, uh, yeah, time picker. No, no, sure. Yeah, yeah. Maybe show me the, the code again for the date picker. I think I made a mistake. Okay, I have just, um, uh, in fact, I have just changed it uh, on the basis of the last uh, previous uh, example. I have just changed the, the mode and everything else is unchanged. Oh, so we don't change the 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 time thing. I, I forgot what it's called with the two brackets. I thought you changed that as well to date, so it stays oh. as time. Yeah. Uh. That's you, yeah. You see here, time change. It is a function, and time is a variable. Mm -hmm. We can yeah ah, we can yes. customize them uh, as we want. Okay. No, thank you. You're welcome. It's okay. It uh, it works now. Yes, now it works. Thank you, Laoshin. Okay. Perfect. You're welcome. Yes, here is the date picker. And then we have the province city selector. Same, uh, yeah. Um, we can set here, we set the mode as region. And then uh, the if we have we can have the effect of the province city selector yeah we have relevant five relevant attributes here we have value custom uh, custom item fund change fund cancel disabled yeah you see for value it is our array it indicates the selected provinces and the municipal, uh, municipalities. The first value of each column is selected by default. For custom item, yeah, you see for date picker is the current time, uh, current uh, date. That means the date of today, it is the default value. And for here, mm, city it is the first value of each column is selected by default and for custom item it is a custom item yeah it means a custom item can be added to the top of each column we have these two event handle we find change the when the change event is triggered when the value changes uh band cancel triggered when deselected we have the attribute disabled with a to disable. Yeah, here, these attributes. And we have, yes, here we show the example to customize our simple province city selector. Mm, here we have the Weixin ML code like this. And yeah, similarly, we say that span change, region change, in Weixin ML code, it is the function that will be triggered when the option is changed. And here, region, it is the variable we use to display the content of the option. Here, the function and the variable names, they are all customized. Yeah, here we have the corresponding JS code. Oh, uh, yeah, you see we can get the selected provinces and municipalities, update the option name to the Weixin ML page. Mm, yeah. Here. Um, yeah, this one is an array containing three 
elements representing a province, city, and district respecti respectively. Uh, yeah, we can see this example similarly. We can just change here, change it to region, and we will see. Yeah, even the uh, it's not it's not proposed to give name like this, but yeah, we will see it. Um, yeah, you can customize it by yourself, but we can see the effect easily if we just do it like this. Yeah, you see. We can get different uh, cities. We are, oh, Jiangxi province. My mouse doesn't work. That's why it's not very convenient to do it like this here. Uh, Jiangxi, Ganzhou, and Zhanggong district. Yeah, you see, we have chosen our um, yeah, it's our current choice. And you see, uh, uh, as we said before, the first value of each column is mm, selected by default. Yeah, here is the region selector and picker. City so selector. Now she... yeah. uh, yes, Kaya? So does the region selector support other languages? Uh, you can add, you can add the, those, uh, um, you can add arrays in data by yourself, the range of the picker by yourself, but by default it's in Chinese. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. Thank you, Laoshin. You are welcome. I see someone is coming. Okay, that's mine's coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, as shown here, the running effect is like this. And later we have embedded scroll selector picker view. Yeah, um, before this, I haven't done it. Before this, we have a, uh, yeah, an example to combine all of these uh, um, different selectors. Like we combine a normal picker, a, a multi, multiple, multi-coral selector picker. We had time chosen, time picker, um, date picker, region picker. We put them together to form a, an example. Yeah, you can you can try to form them together, but we um, yeah we don't need to repeat it here now. Then we'll continue with our picker view, embedded scroll selector. Picker view it is a scroll embedded in the page, and we have these six related attributes value which are numbered array. It means the numbers in the array indicate the number of items selected by picker view column. In picker view, the subscript starts from zero. And when the number is greater than the length of the picker view column option, the last item is selected. We have the indicator uh, style to set the style of the selected box in the middle of the selector. We have the indicator class to set the class name of the checkbox in the middle of the selector. We have marks style to set the style of the mask. Oh, I'm sorry, mask, yeah, marks. Uh, we have the mask class to set the class name of the mask. And one change, uh, it is when scoring selection, the change event is triggered when the value changes. Yeah, the value is an array to indicate which item is currently selected in the picker view column in the picker view. You see here these six attributes. Among them, six are string. One is a number, is an array of numbers, and the one is an event handle. Pay attention that 
want to end peak review coral need to be placed in peak review to represent the corresponding coral for options. And it should be noted that peak review coral can only be placed in peak review. And, and the height of its child nodes will be automatically set to the same as the height of the checkbox of peak review. Here we have a simple application. of the peak review component of the small program form. Um, yeah, we uh, do you want to try it by yourself or we'll do it directly together? I'd like to try it, Lao Xu. Okay, perhaps um, five minutes. Yes. Okay. I will make it of this.
Like before, firstly, we create our view with um, our title. We give it our title. Um, okay. Hey, why we, I have two, three. Okay, perhaps it's better that I change it directly here. Um, yeah, it's here. It's four here, and then we get five here. Uh, we create five mm, and picker. Picker view application. Yeah. Here we give our title and then we give our an um, example. Great class I'm oh, sorry. Another title, a small title. Um yeah. Um Um, we can use class title, we can use part. Um, how to say, um, new, actually, new, okay. Oh, menu for today. Then I get and the view. Set it in our array. Style. Oh, we set it at uh yeah the height. Uh yeah, it's uh here it's customized. You can set it as you want. So it's that you need also to find. Mm, yeah, I'm change. Oh, and then we are ready. We are write this function picker view change. Mm, and then we set for each column picker view column. We set for each column. Oh, what we set here is view class. Um, yeah, here we set a new class, perhaps it's better. And then we use waiting for to set it. Oh uh, yeah, you see in our menu, first of all is the soap and we have waiting um, key, mm, we set we have the index. S is a abbreviation for soup. That's why we have S here, okay? And then uh, we get, sorry, item here. Yeah, it's the first one. Um, first, uh, normally we have three. Here it is for so um first for soap second 
for main course, main course. Just like main course, we uh, abbreviate with M and insert it abbreviated by D. Yeah, you, you see column, picker, view, view. And as we have put this class and picker view in our Weixing ML file, we need to set them in Weixing SS file. Yeah, we'll set it directly here. Picker view. We set the Y sulfate, we put 100%. Uh, we set the height of it, 300 pixels. Yeah, and then we get um, the style curl, uh, line height, that adds 50 pixels. Here is for the style, and then we set those data. We put them. What I have done, I have put it in Flex app. It's not necessary, it's not possible. I need to put it in components too. Yeah, I need to put them here. And then in data, I need to set them in JS file. Data is here. <clears throat> okay, and now we need to set these columns. First one, soap. Yeah. I think before we have some examples here, yeah. You see, we have already got some soap. Oh, perfect. We have already gave them here. Soap, we get the soap, we get main course. And we get dessert. Yeah. Okay, here, vocal. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we get value. Later, we get menu. Okay, here for data. And then uh, we have set a function. A function, the function is picker view change function B. And then we, what we arrive here, yeah, the same thing. We need to get, sorry, we need to get. Um, the index, and then we need to set the array. We push. The first one, similarly, we need to set three. We set the main course. We set the dessert.
Okay, and here we need, don't forget to add burger here. Yeah, and we, and yeah, we compare. Yeah, you see here is the fifth part here. Yeah, menu for today. Oh, um, I need to get it much bigger. Yeah, you see. In data, I may change it. Data. Three, four, five. Here, here is better there. Yes. Little like the here, like this, I think. Yeah, five, six. Ew, what's wrong? Yeah, my new foot today. March. Hello. Whoa. Hey guys. Iron Man. Um. Here. Um. Uh, we have each. Uh, picker view column to show the the entry, the main course, and the dessert. And in each picker view column, we have the view component to uh, coordinate. Okay, thank you. It it doesn't matter for this. Uh, um, yeah. We have these um, view components to Cooperate with uh, Weixin Four to um, concurrently show the the array options. Um, yeah, for soap, main course, and desserts. What's more, for picker view component, we have also the bind change. Uh, we have the the event handle with picker view change. Yeah, each time when we when we change the menu, it will be triggered. Yeah. Okay. Mm, and this is this. 
example, uh, we will continue. This is for this embedded scroll selector picker view. And then we are pass to the single box radio. Radio it is a single select item component, which often needs to be used in conjunction with the radio group single item selector component. Where radio group can contain several radio components between the first and last text. The radio group component has only one attribute, um, bound change. With this attribute, yeah, you see it is an event handle. It means the change event is triggered when the internal um, radio component is selected or not changed. Yeah, uh, as usual, we will not um, take a break between those two sections. We will continue directly and we will fit. Uh, we will terminate at six. Okay. And I see that Kanru Zama is still not here. And Azman appears um, sometimes. Okay. We will continue. Here for this for radio component, we have four attributes: value, checked, disabled, and color. Among these attributes, value is string. Checked and disabled are boolean, and the color shows the color. It is a component color, the same effect as color in CSS. For value, it is the identification value carried carried by the component, and it. When the change event of radio group is triggered, it will carry this value. And checked, it means whether to select the component. Its default value is false. And disabled, whether to disable the component. Its default value is false. Here we have a we have an example. Yeah, we can see it rapidly. Uh, we all see it just here. Yeah, you can add the um, view component directly here. And then we have group, radio group. As we say, um, in rate for radio group component, we have just one attribute. And we if we don't set it here. Radio value we set, for example, first one watermelon. By default, it is checked. Mm -hmm. We set it directly like this. Um, radio value with no. orange. Um, for example, it is disabled and it is orange. The third one. It is our banana. Yeah, if we set just these three and we will see them. Yeah, you see, they are here. And I have said this one checked, this one disabled. And this one 
we can check we can check it here um, pay attention in radio group as i have shown you before um here in radio group we can only choose choose one um, option it is single uh, yeah we can have just one option here is for this example this simple example and we have a, an application of the small program form component um radio yeah um do you want to try it or i'll do it directly Any proposition or I'll, I'll directly do it here. This, um, this example, do you want to try? No ideas? In this case, I may just uh, begin to do it by myself. Yeah, um, here in Wasting ML, the code is simple. We can just simply set our title. Oh, we set, set it as seven mm, radio application. Here is the title, and then we set the, it is our, an example. And we set our subtitle for it. Use array to generate uh, options in batch. Then we use radio group. Mm, point change. Radio change. And we use Waysim 4. Uh, we get the variable radio items. So we get waiting key. And then for each one, we have the value. We use the radio. Um, value to get the item value and we use checked use this item checked and we need to show it Okay, here is in waiting ML, and we need to set this data in JS file. So in JS file, <coughs> we need to first, for example, set the radio items. We use um, the name, Apple, value i think i have there are something here perhaps i can find to 
minimize yeah here we have them here okay it doesn't matter whether we input the before or later yeah you can send them directly like this here for data and then um we have our oh yeah here we need to get regular here and we need to set a function uh event handle function Let me set it here. Oh, uh, it is radio change. Could you hear me? Sorry, could you hear me? Uh, yes, no. Okay, thank you. Yes, Lashi. Thank you. Um, here we set this function, uh, radio changed. And, oh yeah, I forgot to put, I forgot to put the uh, codes. Radio changed. Uh, current value is. Oh, and then we need to add the detail of the event. Yeah, here, don't forget to add a worker here. We set it. Ah, you see, oh, sorry, you see here, Use array to generate options mm, in batch here. Yeah, we can. We have, oh, we have generated these. And you see, um, example, items. Yeah, you see. You and the the initial state checked or not, and then in Weixin ML file. Oh no, not here. This one in Weixin ML file. Oh, uh, we use radio group. Yeah, you see, we use radio group. This component to or this tag to form a um, single option group. And in it, we use view <coughs> to cooperate with Weixin4 to generate multiple radio components in batch. And in order to listen to the change of the option, we have added the bind change in radio group, yeah, you see here it is a customized uh, function, and we have set this function in JS file. And each time, yeah, as we say here, uh, as we see here, each time when we, uh, when we change the chosen value, this event is triggered, and we will print out. The latest value. Here. Oh, here something is wrong. Item value. Why it's not just this will be printed. Normally it should print out. Radio change. Radio change, the current value is. Okay. 
activity and value and radio items. Name value. Which ML? Oh, that's why it's here. Uh, yeah, you see here, if we choose Apple, yeah, you see it's changed here. Now is correct. Okay. Here is this example. And then we'll see next part. It's for slider. Slider select, uh, slide selector slider. Slider is the sliding selector and the corresponding attributes of this component are shown here. We have mean, marks, step, disabled, value, color, selected color, active color, background color, block size, block color, short value, fine change, OO. and band changing, we have these attributes. For min marks, step, value, and block size, there are number. Here we have a disable Boolean with a to disable or not, and the default value is a false. Also here, we have <coughs> a Boolean um, with a, the attribute short value. It, uh, its default value is also false. It is to see whether to display the current value. Yeah, these two uh, with Boolean attributes. And for color, we have the color of the background bar, this background color. Uh, we have the selected color. Uh, active color, we have active color, selected color, yeah, background color here, yeah, you, and also block color, the color of the slider. These to show color, and for the number, um, yeah, you see mean is the minimal value, negative numbers allowed, marks is maximum value, uh, step, size, the value must be greater than zero and can be divisible by marks minus mean. Here is the step, value is the current value. Um, rock size is the size of the slider. The value range is between 12 and 28. Um, yeah, these are number attributes. And then we have two event handle attributes, bound change and bound changing. Bound change. Uh, it means event trigger and bound change event triggered after completing a jack uh, and bound changing event trigger during jack. Yeah, you see here we have these attributes. For example, to make a custom slider, the minimum value is 50 and the maximum value is 200. The current value is displayed on the right, on the right side. Here is uh, the effect 
Mm, yeah, you see, we may just put it very rapidly. We set slider, we set the minimum, we use 50, um, we set max 200, and we set show value. Mm. Yeah, and then you'll see it. Mm -mm. Yeah, you see, it's just here. We have said minimum is 50 and maximum is 20. Yeah, you see the effect. Uh, maximum is 200. Yeah, you okay. see, uh, in the, as shown in this figure, the slider is mainly composed of a sliding line and a slider. And the colored line on the left side of the slider is the selected value range. The more the slider moves to the right, the larger the displayed value. Here we have a simple application of the small program compo form component slider. Uh, do you want to try this one? Here, the difference, um, the first one is that we show the value on the right. The second one is that we minimize, uh, no, we customize the slider color. Third one is the slider is disabled. The fourth one, it is with an event handle. Do you want to try it? No one answers me. Okay, we may do it directly. Uh, pardon? Excuse me, someone. Aya or someone else want to say, um, wants to say something? No? Okay, I'll try. I, I, I may do it directly for this application. Yeah. Um, here are seven, and now we will go to the eighth one. As usual, we set our title. We get the ace. Um, it is a slider application, and then it said a class demo box. Um, it said the subtitle. Um, the first situation is that show the value on the right. Then similarly, we get the slider. We set the mean, uh, we set it at zero. Uh, we can set the marks. In general, we set at 100, mm, yeah, from the range is from zero to 100. And then we set the default value at 50. We set a step. Uh, 
and we show the value. Here it's for the first one. And uh, as we say, we set four style. We can copy it for four times. For the second situation, customize the style, customize the color and style for the slider. Sorry. And then, uh, yeah. We can set both sides here and we can set the color, for example. Mm, yeah, here. Oh, what's wrong? Here we can. Block sign, um, block color, we can set it as red. We can set active um, color, we set it as red, for example. Yeah, block color, um, block color, we can set it. Oh, yeah, here we set it as yellow to make a difference. Yeah, you see. Uh, yeah, you will see the difference. It's one is the slider and another is the the, the button on it. And then the third one, the third one is disabled slider. Sorry. And then here we set me marks value and we have disabled here. Here is the third one and the fourth one. First type is here. Is event handle. Slider. Event handle. We have a max value and then we need to set a, a yeah, a trigger, find change with slider change. And then in JS file, we need to define this function, slider change. In this function, same thing, we ask it to, uh, I'm sorry, to print out the information. Slider changed, current value is. Oh, sorry. And then we need to add the cure here. You will see the effect. You see here, we show the value on the right. We give it directly like this. We have the customized the color and style for the slider. <coughs> yeah, we have set here yellow and here red. That's why it's like this. This is for the slider. We cannot move it. 
event handler, uh, you see, yeah, slider change the current value is 22. And slider change the current value is 72. See it, it's, um, uh, it's important to know how to realize this. Um, and this, this is the, the assignment for today. Sorry, I haven't, for the moment, I haven't corrected your previous assignment, but just four, five students have published, have assigned, uh, submitted their assignments. Please. Realize those four types of slider introduced during lecture. Is it clear like this? Yes, Daoshi. Okay, thank you, Kaya. Mm, I'll set it to your Friday. Normally, it's not very difficult. You can. Yeah, normally you can realize it um, easily. Okay, this is this example, this small. Uh, the simple application of the small program for component slider. And then we have another component switch. Switch selector switch. Switch is the switch selector. And we have these four attributes for this switch component. The first one is checked. It is a Boolean attribute and the default value is false. It means whether selected or not. Then we have another attribute type, uh, which it is a string. The default value is switch. It's the style value value is switch checkbox. We have bound change as an attribute. Uh, as usual, it is an event handle. Um, the change event is triggered when change when checked, it's changed. Then we have the, the attribute color to show the color of the switch. Yeah, here we have an example. Uh, yeah, this example is very, very simple. Uh, yeah, we can not, yeah. Um, you can just see here, I, uh, I think, we can combine our next um, example together in order to not show it directly, not show it here. Um, here, yeah, you see in this example, when the button is on the right, it means it is chosen. And when it is chosen, this selector is colorful. And when the button is on the left, and when the button is on the left, it is not chosen and uh, the state is black and white. So you see they are different between chosen and not, not chosen. And we see a simple application of the small program for component switch here. Yeah, we'll do it directly here, this example. This example, we see same thing, view, um, class we set title, and we give it nine, it's switch, 
O O O application. And then we set view class demo box. Mm. We set the subtitle. Yeah, we get switch. Switch event handle. Um, then we set this switch. Switch. Um, by default it is checked, and then we set this bind change. Bind change. Oh, we set switch change. And oh, sorry, I forgot to. Um, and then we need to define this function in JS file. In this JS file, what we do is uh, to um, ask it to print out the information. Switch changed. Current value is. And then you see, uh, yeah, we are see together. And you see here, even uh, switch event handle, you see by default, it is checked. And if we click it to be non-checked on the left, um, here, uh, the event is triggered. Switch changed, current value is false. So here, switch changed, the current value is true. Yeah, you see uh, here. The effect you see in wasting an error in this code here we use this uh, switch tag compared with checked attribute to realize that uh, by default it is chosen and we bind change we use bind change uh, to I mean. Each time when we change it, this switch change event is triggered. And in JS file, we have described this switch change function. Once it is triggered, then we will print out the switch result in the console. Yeah, as we see here, switch change, the current value is true or false. Yeah, is it clear? Very clear, Laoshi. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kaya. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I haven't seen it before. <gasps> yeah. Uh, it's okay, Laoshi. Thank you, Kaya. Any questions still here? No questions from me. Um, thank you very much, Kaya. 
and the tear. Now, um, I see that as man comes sometimes and um, Karuzama is never appeared today. Okay. If there's no problem, uh, um, we may stop here. Um, no, yeah. Any assignment today? Yeah, I have published it in Chaoxin platform. Okay, Laoshi. Normally you can see it directly. It is already published. <laughs> Any other questions? No lotion. Okay, thank you, Satan. So your stop here. Yeah, um, thank you. Um, bye bye. Have a good time and see you Thursday. Bye.